Uh, I hear combat music. Oh, sh- Oh, man, those guys make me... They're scary! <laughs> Especially when they're level 30, man. Core off of her. All right, we need to go this way. Pause the screen to read. Lots of archers around here. over here. Shit. I don't want to mess get anywhere near that guy. Alright, how the frick do I get up here? Like that. Okay. So, what do we got going on here? There's the root down there. Okay, let's go down this way. Can I just nuke this? How many hits does it take? Is it gone? Yeah, it's gone. Okay. So it looks like it takes a couple hits. Alright, do we have any kind of a boss over there? Can't really tell from here. Got a dude over here. There's a chest down there as well. Um, is there a spawner right behind it? I'm not sure. Let's just nuke it a couple times. Shield of light. Is that right there? I don't know. Oh, 
Oh, there's a spawner right there. Okay, let's kill that spawner. Okay, I think we took the spawner out. Hey, drop down in the gobbledygook, guys. Okay, they're dead. Still have a couple bugs to deal with. Let's just go down. down quick. Spawners all over down here. Okay. Um, let's nuke this. We'll go grab that gold chest and then we'll GTFO. Guess we already got that. I think we're done here. Uh, we now have four points. We need a total of... Oh, shit. Five for that. This is our next one. Um, Sun Summer South... Souterrain. Maybe we could probably get pretty damn close to that from the spire. And actually, I'm going to run home real quick, repair my wand, and re refresh my rested buff. All right, so it looks like... Yeah, I can just barely see the towers uh, from here. Um, we might be able to make it all the way there. If not, we'll get really damn close. Okay, let's go. Just kind of looking around here a little bit. All right, I don't see the route. Um, the game put that damn bow in my slot that I wanted to keep empty for unarmed. Is there a... Oh, shit. Is there an unarmed key? I never even considered that. Uh, controls, keyboard, and mouse. Melee. I'm not seeing it. If um, if somebody actually wanted to do an unarmed build, that would really suck because the game would continually put shit in that slot. I was going to try and punch one of those guys. All right, well, whatever. Ten bars. Oh, red cloth. I'll take that. Here, let's punch this guy. Well, it's kind of fun, but... <laughs> Not super effective, I guess. Get out of here, bug. Do we get it? Yeah. That's... Punch things probably more 
intended to be an evasive tactic than an offensive tactic, I'm thinking. Alright, there's the route. Don't know if it's going to have any monsters with it or not. Get rid of some of this shit. Because it's right in our path. I don't want to run into it later. Oh. Maybe this is the route that has all, all the purple flowers that surround it. Not today. Not for you, anyway. Trying to nuke that spawner. There we go. Okay, I see a bunch of dudes down there. Maybe this one doesn't have a boss. Maybe it just has a bunch of dudes. Go away. care of that. We have seven points. Arcane concentration. So, for every two levels of the flame, our flame is level six, so we should gain a total of three attributes of spirit. Um, so if we look at our mana bar up above there, let's just see how much it increases. didn't really increase the mana bar itself, but it probably in increased it in actuality, just not visually. Right? Yeah. One spirit for every two levels of flame. We have s six levels of flame, so that should have given us three more attributes. I guess I should have looked at the attributes first. Oh, shit. Get out of here. There's a consumables chest I don't know where the gold chest is down here we came down that this direction Yeah, I'm not sure where it is, but that's okay. I'm not too worried about it. I suppose we could just run up here real quick just to see. Maybe it is up here.
probably heal up. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not seeing the gold chest. Or silver chest, as it sometimes is. Is it back here? Ooh, there's a red bug over there. We're not enshrouded right here. Alright, let's get out of here. All right, two more to go. Uh, we got this one and this one. Let's do this one next. Let's well, go meet down in that shroud area. Rebuff. And yeah, let's do it. We probably won't have enough points to get all the way to Dessert Stomach. We'll see. If we don't get all the way there, um, what I'll probably actually do is invest some points into, you know, just some health. Oh, shit. Damn it. Maybe, maybe a few more into stamina too, we'll see. Okay, let's get rid of you. The roots down there. I uh, don't know what kind of boss action there might be. Let's just lob a couple down there and see what happens. Alright, just little guys. Dads that way. Okay, one more there. All right, let's just go down there. I'll probably regret this. Bosses? Okay, let's get it down. This is a film monstrosity. Did we kill it? Let's see if any one of these has a head in them. Oh, there it is right there. All right, you know what? Um, I might need a little bit of assistance with this. We got lots of these. Let's just throw a few out. And then nuke this bastard. Go get him, boys. do it three times before I stop. He's down. Okay. Nice work, Skull Buddies. Nice work indeed. Uh, we got a uh, epic glimmer staff, but we don't need that. It's not bad loot, though. Okay. Uh, that gives us five points. We're done over here. So let, let's see. We need... What does Wanderlust do for us? Stamp exception to spring on dirt roads and stone roads. Okay. Uh, health mana and stamina orbs restored 30% instead of 10%. 
30% chance to spawn a stamina orb when defeating an enemy with a bow. That's worthless to us. So we definitely would want to go come up this way. Sweet Tooth would be decent. Yeah, there's no way we're going to have enough points to get, get to that. Well, I shouldn't say no way. Um, because... I, we, we have a route at this low ride, so that's one point, and then this is probably... Th yeah, I, there's no way we're going to get to it. I, I just don't see it. Here's what we'll do, though. Let, let's pretend like we are going to have enough points. We'll keep working towards it, and if we don't make it there, then I'll probably do a respec and take whatever points we put up here and do, you know, increase our health a little bit. I think that's our plan. Okay. So, we just need one more point for good metabolism, but we still have to go through here and here and here to get to that. And then this is four points by itself. It's possible. I don't think so, but it's possible. We'll see. All right, back to here. Um... Yeah, we're doing we're doing pretty good on rested. All right, now we're gonna go down to here. Oh no, not a ping, a waypoint. Okay. I just can't think of any points off the top of my head that I would I want to give up. I think I want everything that I currently have. This tomb directly below me, that's that place has got so much good loot. And we'll we'll do it um at some point here in the next next couple episodes coming up. Just to show it to you. Let's just forget about everybody up here and head on down. I think I remember. Yeah. This is a bit of a maze, this one. As I recall. I don't remember if... We have a boss at the end or not. Well, hello. Ah, damn it, Jim. I pivoted and got past my shield. Go down, asshole. Still not enough. Okay, I don't want this. Just because it clutters up this menu here. I'm even thinking about maybe getting rid of, not deleting it, but just putting Ice Bolt away, because I'm just not using it. I'm just pretty much using fire and healing. Um, an Eternal Light Burst is actually kind of useful, too. I'm going to try that out in the Hollow Halls. Alright, let's go up here.
Oh. This is the way... What the hell, man? I thought this was a, a different tunnel. Uh... What's back here? Nothing. So I guess we just... What do we do? Go around in a circle? Or no, I got turned around and went the wrong way. That's what happened. Okay, we're supposed to go this way. Can't take me anywhere. Uh, that... There's a gold chest up there. Hmm. Trying to get on top of this, but it's not... Okay. Can we do this? Oh, shit. I was trying to do an updraft. Alright, is there a way to get up there? I don't know if I want to just jump over onto the other side of that. There could be red muckety-muck over there. There might be uh, another way to get to that later. Let's just keep moving. I might be working harder than I need to here. Bunch of spawners. Oh, what are you aiming at? Let's get these spawners killed. At least the one that spawned soldiers. Okay. Yeah, there's a silver chest. And somebody's shooting at us. We can avoid that if we stay all the way over here. Sunhammer. Alright. What's down here? Is this how we get to that other chest? No. Tis not. Okay. There's something over there. Axe. Any chance your giblets came up above? No. She she drops a core, so Alright, there's the root. Got a shroud flower up there. Get rid of it. Another silver chest. Eagle Eye Boots, I already have those. Uh, I hear combat music. Oh shit! Oh, man, those guys make me... 
They're scary. <laughs> Especially when they're level fucking 30, man. Damn. Okay. We got this. Let's salvage that. Salvage that. Uh, those I'm gonna just delete. Don't need them. I actually have a couple extra pairs. Oh, you know what? I think this is where we gotta fight. <sighs> yeah, we gotta fight. Uh, oh, no, may maybe that was our boss. That must have been our boss. One of these places you have to fight a um, thunder brute, and there's a bunch of holes where you can fall in the red muckety muck. Gotta be really careful. But I'm not seeing him. Let's uh. Let's send a Hail Mary over there for a second and just see if it hits anything. I don't think there's any bad guys over there. Gotta watch our step here, man. Alright, I think we're good. Okay. Oh. That might be the gold chest right over there. That gave us five points. So let's get good metabolism. Okay, that takes three points. It's going to be close, but I kind of doubt we're going to make it there. We'll re-examine everything that we have. Um, and see if we can maybe come up with some other points to get there. Let's go. We're gonna do one last thing before we wrap it up. I know we've gone kind of long, but what else is new? I, don't, I say that all the time, don't I? <laughs> um, I don't think we're gonna mess around here. Let's just go across the way there. On well, second thought, I don't want to do this fight in the dark. I'll see you in the morning. Okay, we're back, and we're all nice and rested rested up. Let's cross on over here. <laughs> nice. Fly into the face of cliffs much? We want to get um, over kind of on the other side of this cliff here. I'm actually going to show you guys something, too. Those guys. They don't actually have anything we want or need. Yeah, I think that's what I'm looking for. I'm gonna go down here though. Seriously? Get out of here. Okay, so this chest here, uh, this is where I'm at, just a little to the south uh, west of low tide. This will always spawn a Shroud Weaver staff every time. Um, and it does, it, it's, it's pure, well, it does have a health regen, but otherwise it's two fires and then uh, backstab and critical. So, you know, there's no, there's no mana region on here, so I'm not really interested in it because of that reason mostly, but it's a damn nice staff and I've already grabbed this once. So the other thing you can do is come down here, farm it just, you know, to get 
runes if you need runes. Not that we need runes because I got tons of runes. But kind of cool. So I wanted to show that to everybody. All right. And then you can actually hop all the way back up here um, to get out of the shroud. And then you can just teleport out. What we're going to do, though, is we're going to refresh this. Uh, we're going to take one of these. We're going to take one of these. One of these. One of these. We're, like, totally buffing up for this fight. Big time. And one of these. The other two food items are good. Okay, so. Level 30 Thunderbrute fight down here. And maybe some other ads, too. I don't know. Let's do it. Oh, shit. Right, let's get this down quick. Where's that guy at? I don't see him. There's an archer down there. Okay, um... Let's nuke this guy. Okay, we might need to go further that way for the Thunder Brute. Oh. Sometimes the auto aim is just a little irritating because of. You're intending to aim somewhere else, and it wants to do its thing. Oh, shit! Ouch! Damn it! in there. <laughs> if there's more of those red bugs. I'm afraid there might be. What's down in here? This does not look good. I don't think I've ever been down here. There's a consumable chest. All right, read that. I think that's the Thunder Brute. Yep, okay. Skull Buddies, gonna need some help here. Oh, shit. Not good. Why does there always have to be ads? Oh, he's almost dead. Oh man, you guys were worried the whole time. That was nothing. That was such an easy fight. Have a little more faith in me next time. <laughs> Actually, I was I was kind of thinking that was going to be a little tougher than it was. Whew, okay. Ooh, look at that. If we were an archer, what a nice bow. 
Uh, health regeneration. Nah, I think I'd rather keep this one because this gives us stamina and health leech. Um, I might even have that back at the base from all the farming we've been doing, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay. That leaves us with three points. Which is just enough to get Sweet Tooth, which I don't actually really like Sweet Tooth. Only because I like to eat like stuff like honey or sugar just long enough to mine, but I... But I don't like it to last longer because then it takes up the place of a, you know, a, of a different buff. The only thing... Here, let's get the hell out of the one of the most dangerous spots in the game. Let's go back home. <laughs> um, and then we're going to just take a hard look at all of our skills and see if there's anything we could possibly give up to get dessert stomach. Um. And also. Rumors of the Dragon Cave. Sand Digger Camp. Scientific Instruments, which we have already. Oh, we got to do the Beehive, too. That, all right, there's another sun temple. That might be a route there, maybe. That might be a route, so that's two more points if they are routes. So assuming that those are routes, um... I'm just trying to think of what that is. Let's just go look really quick. Okay, this is the other sun temple. Yeah, let's heal him to death. It's this camp here that it was pointing at. Um, greenie. Low level greenie. Okay. My guess is that because this sun temple's in the highlands and not Kendall, whatever we would find in here is probably not going to be like max level loot. Northern Caravan Camp. Okay, pause the screen to read that. Okay, well, they got rid of, that got rid of that question mark. Okay, well, I mean, even if the that other question mark uh, that we saw somewhere... This one gives us one point. That's still not going to be enough. And I do think that is a root, actually. What's that? That's the pike. Yeah, this is the one... Or you have to kind of do a little bit of parkour. I wonder if we can just hit that. If we miss it, we might wind up in the, the juice. But you know what? I don't think we have anything super critical in our inventory. Yet, so let's just go for it. 
There we go. Clear the Revelwood of all Shroud Roots. Okay, we just got an achievement for that. All right, that gives us one more point. Um, Bridge Construction Report. Do, 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 do. Almanac. Some of these we kind of did out of order. That's why they're still on the map. Siblings, Nomad Highlands, a Beehive, which we got to do, Sand Digger Camp. Yeah, I, I don't think we have any roots left, guys. I think we've done them all. Or, or elixir wells. So that's probably the maximum amount of points we're going to get. Okay. Now let's go back home. So we have five points. We could get Sweet Tooth and Dexterity. Um... And then we would still need to come up with an additional three points. So that means we need we would need to get rid of three points worth of something. <sighs> Blink attack is not incredibly useful. I, I definitely want emergency blink though. We got to have that. And, and I should have used it in the last episode, too, when that greenie stunned us. I just doped doped out on that. I just don't know. I don't remember how many points this is. I think it's two. So that wouldn't get us enough points to get there. We could sacrifice one point of and either intelligence or spirit. I probably would sacrifice a point of spirit. And that might get us where we need to go. Yeah, so we just need to come up with three points and we can get dessert stomach. And then I can do fruit salad and that'll help our health regen. Um, okay, so here's what we're going to do. Let's do a respec. Okay. We want endurance. We want runner because we want double jump. We want endurance. We want Wanderlust. No, well, we don't really want it, but we have to take it. Good Metabolism. Sweet Tooth. Dexterity. And Dessert Stomach. Okay. Now, we want... What's that do? Uh, oh, that's only one point. Okay, well... Uh, increased space duration rest buff is increased by five minutes. That's pretty damn good, actually. Let's let's not get sidetracked. We want spirit. We want counter strike. After receiving damage, there's a twenty percent chance to reflect fifty of the damage back to the attacker's fire. And we want updraft. Okay. Um. Let's go intelligence. Be gone. Intelligence, terror. Let's uh, let's hold off on that one for a second. Quick charge. We use the time. Oh yeah, we definitely want quick charge. That is an absolute must. Um, okay, let's go. This is the way. Spirit, arsonist. Pyro, Radiant, Sonora, Intelligence, Wizard, Chain Hit, Mass Destruction. Okay, let's wait on that for a second. Um, let's 
We want Blink. Necromancer. Yeah, let's go Necromancer. Healer. Blink. An emergency blink. This was... Yeah, we went down this tree for wand damage. So, arcane deflection. Intelligence. Unity. Sting. It's a spawn an additional... Yep, a wand projectile. Spirit and intelligence. Okay. Um, we have 17 points left. I think we should do thunder and lightning because I, you know, I'm planning on using that shock wand. This is the ice thingy that we're not worried about. Healer. Yeah, we don't need to go any further down the healer tree. So what we could do now is we could fill in the small intelligences and spirits. Um, I'm almost thinking, though, that, you know, if you have good enough mana regen, you don't need an absolutely enormous spirit uh, or mana pool I might so I I'm gonna hit all of the little intelligences that we can um, health gain from healing spells will be increased by additional 20% that's a two pointer which would get us to another intelligence I mean, that doesn't suck. And we don't care about that stuff. Those are all spirits. That was the one we did to increase our pool. What I'm thinking, though, is maybe what we should do is... Do s pay attention to our health just a little bit. Um, because this is going to help us, you know, some of this stuff anyways is going to help us with stamina. So we have nine points. We could just do a couple of constitutions. Um, this well-rested is actually not a bad, bad deal. We need three instead of six. No, that's not going to do us any good. I think we're going to take this. It's only one point. Extra five minutes of rest, it does not suck. Um, especially, like, if we're in the middle of a dungeon, in, uh, a, a Hollow Halls dungeon, we die, and all we have is the campfire. That's going to actually come in handy. Okay, let's do a constitution. Wait, hold on. What's next? Physical armor gains 10% more armor points. That's not going to do us much good unless we decide to wear pally armor. Attacking with... Yeah, see, that's all melee, which is completely useless to us. Um, that's strength. That's jump attack. Okay, let's take this constitution. And this one. Evade. When equipped with a melee weapon, you can perform an evade attack, which dashes... No... I don't want that. Physical armor gains 10% more armor points. Well, wouldn't that count with any armor, though, even if it's mage armor? I would think so, because it's still physical armor. <laughs> um, let's see, that would be two points. That would be four points. That would get us to another constitution. There are three more enemies within 20 so is that less magical? There's three more you suffer two percent less physical. Hmm. Okay, so here's the thing. We could go shiny plates, heavy plates. Th 
because I'm, I'm assuming that's got to apply to Mage Armor too. I mean, why wouldn't it, right? And then that would get us to another Constitution point. Or Strength. Yeah, see, Strength is just completely worthless for our build. It just is. So nothing up there is really any good to us. I'm pretty happy with our Stamina. Or we just put points into Spirit. Or we do Healer 2 to get to another Intelligence. Yeah, I I like that, man. 20% better healing. Health gain from healing spells will be increased by 20%. You know what, though? The thing is, is we're never going to be using our healing spell in combat. When we're out of combat, it's unlimited. So that... Unless that also counts towards potions... But it doesn't say that. It says healing spells. <sighs> so many so many choices, man. So many choices. All right. I think what we're going to do is going to go shiny plates. We're going to go heavy plates. And we're going to take another point in constitution. Um, And we, that leaves us one point left. Which we should probably put into spirit. And it kind of doesn't matter, I guess, where we do that. So, yeah, let's put... Um, yeah, because we don't need strength. We already got the constitutions. We'll put it there. Okay. I think that's uh, what we're going to do. Um, The only thing really that we gave up is uh, we we gave up our larger mana pool because of the spirit um and did we lose any intelligence i don't think we did i think we got all of our intelligence i mean we never had this one to begin with anyways i don't think we did anyway so so we gave up a we have a smaller mana pool, but what we gained is dessert stomach for fruit salad for healing, and we gained five more minutes of rested buff. We gained more health and tougher armor as the trade-off. Okay. Time will tell if that was a good decision or not. I kind of feel like it was, but you know, uh, we'll have to wait and see. Here is the plan. The plan is I'm going to keep going after the legendary farm spots until I find a legendary ritual tempest wand. Uh, or until I get so sick of looking for it that I'm going to say screw it and we'll go with our epic. Um, and then we're going to go to the Nomad Highlands Hollow Halls. Very much looking forward to it. Hope you guys are too. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.